The word topology comes from the Greek word topos, meaning place, and ology, meaning the study of. In terms of computer networks, then, it refers to the placement or layout of the machines in a local area network. Specifically, how the computers are connected together. There are four main ways of connecting the computers in a LAN. The bus, the star, the ring, and the mesh. The bus topology involves a main backbone cable, and the workstations are attached to this. The backbone cable can be up to 100 metres long before an amplifier is needed to boost the signals. A typical bus LAN uses Ethernet technology, and all of the workstations have an Ethernet network interface card inside them. With any LAN, only one computer can transmit a packet of data at a time. Ethernet handles this by allowing any computer to attempt to put a signal on the cable at any time. Then, if there's a collision, it's detected by the network interface card, which waits a very brief, random amount of time before attempting to retransmit. There are lots of collisions on a busy bus. The backbone cable has a terminator at either end. These are nothing more than electrical resistors designed to prevent signal echoes on the cable. The bus is the cheapest way to arrange a network because it uses the least amount of cable compared to other arrangements. It's easy to swap workstations or to add new ones without disrupting the rest of the LAN. And if one workstation fails, the network will continue, as long as there isn't a break in the main backbone cable. With a star-shaped LAN, the computers are all connected directly to a central device. Each workstation is independent of the rest, so it's easy to add and remove workstations without disruption. There may be a server at the centre of the LAN, or there may be a connecting box known as a hub, in which case the server will be connected to this, just like the workstations. Although the diagram here shows a neatly arranged star, the cable runs may vary greatly in length, depending on how far away the workstations are from the centre. For this reason, the star uses the most amount of cable compared to other arrangements, and this makes it potentially the most expensive arrangement. Also, if the server or the central hub fails, the whole LAN will go down. A ring topology is more than just a way of connecting computers together. It's an alternative to Ethernet when it comes to controlling the way computers exchange packets of data. In a ring, an electrical signal called the token is passed from computer to computer at very high speed and always in the same direction. The so-called token ring network interface card in each machine is responsible for propagating the token. When one computer wants to transmit a packet of data to another, it takes control of the token. No other computer can send anything while it has possession of the token. The data is essentially attached to the token and sent on its way. The main benefit of a token ring network is that very fast transmission rates are possible because there are no collisions to be dealt with. However, because the network interface card of every computer in the token ring is responsible for maintaining the token, if one machine fails, the whole network will fail. Indeed, adding new workstations involves shutting the whole network down. The ring is also potentially the most expensive arrangement, because the special token ring network interface cards cost more than Ethernet cards. In its simplest form, a hub is just a connecting box that simplifies the wiring of a local area network. By using a central hub with computers radiating out from the middle, you can create what looks like a star-shaped network. However, inside the hub, there might be a ring or a bus. This hub contains a ring, so a LAN with this hub at its centre would be known as a star-wired ring. A hub can do more than just tidy up the wiring of a LAN. If it's also a repeater, it will amplify signals on long stretches of cable. If a hub is a switch or a router, it can help to reduce the amount of unnecessary traffic on a LAN. Wireless mesh networks are becoming more and more common. In a mesh, every device is connected to every other device, either directly, which is known as a full mesh, or indirectly, which is known as a partial mesh. 
The wireless mesh network has a lot of advantages. Typically, the administration tasks are decentralised. There's no controlling server, so there's no single point of failure. Because there are no cables involved, a wireless mesh is cheap to set up, particularly over a large area such as a whole city. Adding new nodes is easy. The network interface cards usually configure themselves when they detect nearby nodes. As the number of nodes increases, the network becomes even faster and more efficient. In a wireless mesh, data packets hop from node to node and will find the fastest route available. To summarise then, topology refers to the layout and cabling of the computers in a LAN. This also has a bearing on the way that packets of data are transmitted, either using token ring or Ethernet. The main layouts for LANs that use cables are the bus, the star and the ring. The mesh is used in Wi-Fi networks. Hubs can be used to simplify wiring, amplify signals and filter traffic. And finally, a large local area network could well include a mixture of buses, stars, rings and meshes, if the right devices are used to connect them together.